For people not familiar with quantum computing, it's nothing more than using quantum mechanical effects to be able to solve problems much faster than they can be solved today using classical computers. A recent uh, study by 451 Research, an arm of the SMP, found that about 1,000 Fortune 5000 companies surveyed, almost a third of them had abandoned solving some important problems because they were just computationally too hard to solve. A classical computer needs to search one after the next through the possible solutions to find the best or optimal solution. Quantum computers are much more powerful. There are what I'll call revolutionary applications, and these are things like global weather modeling for disaster prediction or designer drugs to address your set of ailments. A quantum computer is seeing many possible solutions to a problem and can easily search through to find the optimal solution. And this is what gives quantum computers so much power and makes them so much more powerful than classical computers. If we go back 20 years, it just didn't seem so realistic at the time. Up until I met some of the folks from D-Wave who had a proposal to build a quantum computer based on quantum annealing, I could kind of see what you would do with it. And then their proposal was to build it using a superconducting integrated circuit. All these things made it seem really appealing to me. D-Wave develops and delivers quantum hardware, software, and services. We have a quantum cloud service for delivering real-time access to the quantum computers so that businesses over the cloud can use quantum computing to be able to solve their hard problems. D-Wave was the first and is currently the only commercial quantum computing company. So while other companies in the quantum industry talk about national labs and academic institutions as customers, we talk about companies like Johnson & Johnson or Volkswagen as our customers, and we are delivering real applications that help to benefit their business operations. Our data scientists and data engineers did not have any previous experience with quantum computing. But uh, with the help of D-Wave and a few days of training and using the quantum compute accelerators, they were very quickly up to speed on how to use the system. The Patterson Food Group is a 105-year-old company. We decided to start with team member schedule automation with the idea that we could provide more flexibility for our team members, reduce manual processes, and improve the customer experience by making sure that we had the right number of team members at the right time. Our largest banner is Save on Foods, which has 180 stores, and depending on the community has services such as pharmacies, uh, full service delis, bakeries, wine sales, Starbucks kiosks. Our initial proof of concept only took a few weeks. Getting the team productive, proving that a solution was viable was surprisingly quick. There are two primary approaches to quantum computing. There is annealing quantum computing and there is gate model quantum computing. D-Wave decided to start with annealing quantum computing. That's what's allowed us to become commercial so quickly. Annealing quantum computers are excellent at solving optimization problems. Both approaches are important. Annealing for optimization, gate model for quantum chemistry, computational fluid dynamics. We are now also building a gate model quantum computer, which means we will be the only company in the world delivering both annealing quantum computers and gate model quantum computers. And as a result, the only quantum computing company that will be able to address the full set of use cases for our customers and the full market for quantum computing. Just like with classical computing, quantum computing is a horizontal technology that applies to businesses broadly in a variety of industries and sectors. In the case of the Port of Los Angeles, we've worked with a company named Savantex who have used their, their own system uh, to help increase the efficiency of the operations at Port 300, which handles you know, metal materials there, increasing uh, the amount of cargo that's handled by the rubber-tired gantries by 60%. And lastly, uh, Mint and AI working in the space of protein design. They're really looking at the designing de novo proteins. So these are new proteins that can be potential future therapies. And they've managed to quantum design proteins that they've been able to chemically synthesize and take to live virus testing against COVID-19. Quantum computing has matured to the point where it's become a critical part of the enterprise's compute infrastructure. You don't need to be a quantum physicist to program quantum computers. It's really using the technology is no more or less complex than building a new application.
D-Wave's approach to product development is really quite unique, really because we're taking the system engineering seriously from the beginning. If we're going to get to thousands of qubits, how are we going to talk to them all? How are we going to read all of them out? You know, how are we going to control and program them? How are we going to control the electromagnetic environment? How are we going to be able to keep these systems cold for months, uh, if not years, and have them installed in a remote data center? Um, it's, it's understanding the whole stack and the whole product from the beginning. Today, we're solving real important problems for businesses. But as we look to the future, the types of problems that we'll be able to solve will have sort of unimaginable impact, not only on business, but also on society. Um, imagine the ability to predict earthquakes well ahead of time, or imagine the ability to be able to develop optimal routes for leaving a city prior to the hitting of a hurricane. The D-Wave legacy will be the company that enabled quantum computing for the world and enabled quantum computing to transform all industries to the better of society.